Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creation process. And in this video, we'll be making this very simple but very powerful and unique design. If you see this, three alphabet has been used A, B, C, but they have been formed from basic shapes like circle rectangles. So the main body has been made from circles and the rest part which are used to attach as well as to form the text has been made from a rectangle. But the one thing which we need to concentrate here is that we have to see that the th thickness is constant so we have to be very particular about the thickness as well as there is has been a rectangle which has been attached to the circle to form the letter B and some of them has been splitted from here with the same thickness so these are the few principles we have to understand before designing this logo so let's begin with the design first to undergo with the design we have to be we have to go in a particular step we have to be very um, proportionate about that so to be proportionate we'll make a grid of three divisions so first I'll take a rectangle and draw a rectangle with some maybe almost two thickness give it some black color after that I'll just place this here now go to object path and split into grid here you can split this grid into a number of divisions here I want 3 by 3 3 by 3 and click OK so you got a division of 3 by 3 here now what I will do is I will just rotate this angle to uh, 90 degree so to do that I'll just go here click the mouse click and just rotate and with a shift click you can rotate this into 90 degree angle so I got this rectangle here now this d d grid has been made to make the outlines to make as a guidance to be as a guidance so I'll just lock this up control 2 to lock it and you can even this has been the layer so I can just use this layer to hide it and hide out and lock this before that now let's go to the next step we need the circles so I'll just draw three circles in between the three rectangles three circles squares you can see that so we'll go to the ellipse tool and from the center here first just uh, select the okay we just need to make a new layer for that now with the ellipse tool draw a circle from the center and ensure that the edges are overlapping with the edges of the boxes so just be constant and once you get that increase the thickness to around the we have to maintain its thickness we have to be constant so we need to see that how much thickness you are giving so let's give it 20 thickness or maybe you can increase to 22 now with alt and mouse click you can duplicate this so place it over here in the same way again duplicate one more time and place it there so once you get that we got our three circles we got the three positions which is accurate let's uh, convert the uh, color into white so before that let's change this color into white now next step we need a rectangle piece of rectangle which will be connecting the two circles so let's draw it so to draw a line which will be connecting to this circles we will use line segment tool so from the center here intersection part with a shift click you can draw a line if it's not visible it's white I think yes so where and just a click with a shift click you can drag it out with a 45 degree angle and just keep it there so you are the place correct place here In the same way we'll make one more here from the center intersection part draw it out and till the intersection portion now we need a path here we need a small piece here for the P so we'll again choose the line segment tool from the intersection part or the anchor point we'll just drag out with a shift click and straight line up here so almost we got whole uh, object has been prepared only the thing is we have to just give some 
um, we have to cut out some strokes from here and here so to do that we'll just first select all of this go to object and expand to convert this into object form so once you get this you all the your object has been converted into object we will duplicate this one more time control C control F and change its color to black so that we can recognize it so to do that I'll just go here cancel go here and change its color to black and arrange this to the front arrange to front and place it where we want our cut I think we need our cut here so just place it properly ensure that they are correctly fitted so close zoom in and work it out in the same way duplicate this one more time and place it here we need our cut here too once you have done that duplicate it one more time place it here and place it here not here only this much so just uh, be ensure that it's correctly placed so just move zoom in and place it properly so now let's do one more thing let's there is one step we have to select everything and deselect the black pieces and go to object and go to windows pathfinder and combine it so this in this way you got everything combined this is one object and these all pieces are different so select this object select this whole object and subtract it now bring this uh, small pieces again in the front before selecting now select this object and this and subtract it the same way select this this and subtract it so you got all the divisions cut it which you wanted but only one thing is missing you got uh, to form the C you have to cut this space and we don't we haven't done that so we to do that we we'll just make the line segment take one more and from the center just with an angle and give it some color maybe you can increase it or maybe just keep it there again one more from the anchor with the shift and you can drag out with a 45 degree angle now select this object go to before that just ensure that the grid layer has been switched off sometimes it's um, affect the grid also so select the path stroke go to object path and divide object below this will divide the object which is below there in the same way we'll select this go to object path and divide object below so this piece has been removed so we got our ABC same and we the thing which we are left is only with the, the small text so we'll just type extra e x t r a extra I have I think I have already given the uh, play uh, space between the two text so you can change that by going into the character option here here is the this, the space between the two text so you can change it here I have given 5270 so that's why it's very small but you can see that now change its color to white you can change it from here or maybe going to the text or over there so let's change it to white and place it properly so so this is how you can make some very unique and uh, powerful design with uh, in the same way we can also say that these design this kind of design very look very simple but while preparing it you can undergo some complex uh, theory hope you enjoyed the tutorial thank you very much and don't forget to check out the upcoming tutorials thank you